show you what I did here to the to the backing vocals. So these are basically like vocal stabs or BVs on the verse. Um, very very much similar to the 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 way that I mixed the the verse the main verse vocal. So I won't go through everything here. You can see it's pretty much the same. Um, I sometimes like to DS the BVs a little more than I did the main verse vocal just because I don't want the sibilance I don't you know I already have too much sibilance in the main vocal so I don't, I don't want to have clashing sibilance going on from the BV so sometimes to dip this even further down is a good idea don't look like I did that with this one but that's fine and the only difference really is obviously these are lower in the mix than the um than the main vocal and also I've used this PSP pseudo stereo plugin to create some depth this is kind of like a a fake stereo effect that this creates. So I'll play these in solo so you can hear that. Let it breathe. Have a seat. Sins to my sin. Kim. Kid. Fibs. Let it breathe. So very subtle, but it's just creating a little bit of width and depth within the BVs to, to make them stand out and, and, and sit in a different space slightly to the to the main vocal next we've got the ad libs and i'll play those quickly on this first to, to to give you a feel of what's going on here remember that remember that remember that just to watch my back watch my back i know that i know that so as you can see, I've kind of split these into left and right. So I've cut them all up and then, you know, put one left, one right, one left, one right throughout the song. Again, just to put them in a slightly different space to any of the main vocals. And, you know, it's kind of ear catching and just adds that extra little bit of, of atmosphere and, and feel to the song. They're processed in a very similar way. They've got more reverb. So I've sent you know, I've, put, I've, I've basically turned up the, the sends on these so that there's more delay, more reverb and more kind of atmospheric stuff going on with them than the main vocal. And then I've also added this Waves Chroma Tape. This is one of my favorite plugins by Waves. As I said, again, links are in the description for these plugins, these Waves plugins that I'm using in the mix. Check this check this plugin out. It, it does a lot of different things. But for this, I've basically turned the speed down to 7.5 added a little bit of flux and this just creates really subtle kind of distortion and also takes out some of the high end so that they sit a little bit further back work, 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 work. Sir, 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 sir. Work, 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 work. sir sir work, 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 work. sir 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 so as you can hear it's adding a nice little bit of kind of tape distortion which is what this plugin is made for. And I just like that on AdLibs a lot of the time. Sometimes I use the Decapitator or other distortion plugins, but this is for a more subtle distortion sound. Slap this on, put the record level up, the flux level up, put it on 7.5, and it can create a really nice subtle distortion. I saw the devil at 17. Hallelujah. Broke your heart, now you're looking at me. You ain't seen melanin. It's all about the action when I pull up, when I pull up, no, I set a seat. Calling every morning, every night, my throat's tired, baby, let it breathe. Curvy little princess, have a seat. 